Good morning guys, it's day six of Vlogmember. I cannot believe we're nearly a week. Crazy. I'm really loving it and so far I'm not burning out guys, which is great news because that was a worry. Anyway, it is Saturday morning. I'm at Keegan's. Obviously you saw yesterday, you know I'm here. The dogs are playing with each other. I did not sleep good last night at all. Like I've had, that was one of the worst night's sleep I've had since summer. Basically I was too hot. I think see what these two are up to. Excuse you. <laughs> you two out. Come on, out. Out. Come on. Right, let's shut you in here. And I'm gonna talk to you guys in here, because they're loud. Yeah, I had a really bad night's sleep. I think the heating came on in the night. I got too hot and I was, no duvet on me, completely like, spread out on the bed like couldn't cool down. Keegan was like under the thick duvet and I was like, how are you doing that? How are you doing that? I just can't sleep, I'm too hot. And basically I started scrolling on my phone like early hours of the morning and then Keegan woke up, he's like, what are you doing? I was like, I can't sleep. <laughs> I'm too hot. And so we opened some windows and then I got to sleep. But because of that, I slept until 9, 9 a.m. this morning and I've woken up and Keegan has done some Instagram stories uh, over an hour ago on his bike in the garage and I think he said on them that he was up since 7.30. Um, and I've woken up and he's not here, so I think he's gone for a walk. Maybe he'll bring me back a coffee and that will be cold by the time he brings it back. <laughs> I'm gonna go make myself a coffee and then I think we're gonna go to the gym today. We've both joined a new gym. I don't know if I told you guys this. So you know the day that I had off when I did the Q&A, which by the way, I posted it last night and I haven't looked at, I looked at some of the comments last night and they were really lovely. So thank you so much. Yeah, I'm gonna read some more this morning. Um, but on that day where I did the Q&A and I didn't do a lot, one new, one thing I did do that was quite interesting was I joined a new gym. So I've canceled my membership at my gym that I've been a member of for five years. And I've joined a new gym that allows me access to a gym where I live in London, a gym where my parents live in Southampton, and a gym where Keegan lives up north. So I think that's gonna really help me with uh, working out. You guys know that I haven't managed to like stay consistent with my workouts, mainly because I don't have a gym membership wherever I go. Um, so hopefully this is gonna help. So yeah, we're gonna go to the gym today. I'm hoping we might get a Nando's for lunch. And then tonight is bonfire night. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you guys what uh, what we're doing for bonfire night. Maybe we will try and find a traditional sort of bonfire celebrations. Me and Keegan were talking about what is traditional bonfire night food. And I was like, well, obviously hot dogs. And he was like, what? He was like, no, it's pie and peas or something. And I was like, pie and peas? No, it's, it's hot dogs. So we've had an argument over that. So we thought maybe tonight we will try both and we will have hot dogs and we'll have pie and peas and then we can decide whose is the best. And one more thing guys, to make matters worse, last night I had a nightmare. I had a dream me and Keegan were staying in a really lovely Airbnb and it was like, just incredible. It was really historic and like really a little bit like mysterious and spooky. Anyway, came back to the Airbnb and Ava wasn't there. She was missing. She went missing and we don't we couldn't find her and I was like running around the area screaming for her trying to find her and I just couldn't find her and I had to come to the conclusion that she someone had stolen her. They'd broken in and and taken her and I was just like I woke up almost crying. You know when you wake up and your eyes are wet and you're like, "Oh my gosh, I've been crying." Oh, I love you so much. That's why I'm bringing it up in here. I'm just the perfect house husband, guys. Not husband. Not yet. So Keegan, what do you think to my socks? I, I don't have an opinion on your socks anymore, Joel. You think you think you wind me up by being garish and outlandish and gauche, and it, it doesn't. I see what you're trying to do. It's like a youngest child thing. I am youngest child. And it's not gonna wash me. I love these socks. My brother got them for me for Christmas one I year. Would, uh, the thing is, like, I don't have an issue with the socks in general. Like, if you're wearing them with a pair of jeans or whatever, like, that's, I'm all for quirky socks. But we're going to the gym <laughs> and you're wearing long pull-up socks, like, what you yeah. Like an old man. Yeah, and people will see me and go, that's weird. 
And I like that. I like them to go, oh, he's got personality. When I wear my Harry Potter socks, no, they're like... people don't Ugh. think, no, weird does not equal personality. I said I want to go to Nando's, but Keegan said that maybe we won't go to Nando's. But that's fine. I only suggest Nando's because you know you can get a healthy lunch there. And I know you're very strict with your diet at the moment. And I'm strict, but I can be swayed. Well, I just feel like we should shop local. Shop local. And yeah. there's, uh, you know, independent eateries. Gym is done, guys. We are now walking to get some brunch. That legs are massive. Literally. I haven't done leg day like that in a long time. I'm not going to be able to walk tomorrow. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. I'm going to be hobbling around. <laughs> guys, we're just on a shop. He's making me carry the bag. See, he quickly grabs it because he doesn't want to be shown up. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. You want me to carry the bag, drive you everywhere. You were the one that just grabbed shopping. You're the one that just grabbed careful, it out of my careful hand. Lunch. You're, I'm, I'm a freeloader. For for it's true, but I will just say it cost me like 120 quid in petrol to get up here. Um, we're trying to find parking. I've never heard of it. I think he's making it up. Apparently, it's a northern cake. But then I thought he was making it up. But then a woman in the supermarket was like, "I'm looking for parking too, and they don't have any." She wasn't like that, Josh. She was a lovely old lady. Oh, she was lovely. I wasn't saying she wasn't, but that's how she sounded to no, me. She didn't sound like. That. Okay, she went. Oh, I'm looking for parking too. They don't seem to sell it, so I've got myself some ginger cake. Some Jamaican ginger cake. Some Jamaican ginger cake. We're on the hunt for parking. Are we going to a bakery? Well, uh, there's a woman's trolley right there. Oh, I mean, we're stuck. I'm sorry. Look what I've got, Jill. Oh, Jill. Jill. Oh, it looks nice. Well, it doesn't actually, but I'm sure it tastes nice. But they've wrapped it up nice. £5.50 or £5.5. I know, I saw you come in. They did. <laughs> oh, Southerner, we can put an extra two quid on that. Look at this Marmite I bought from Sainsbury's. Well, actually, Keegan bought it for me. Bless him. I actually collect limited edition Marmites. I have about four or five limited edition ones that are like 10 years old. <laughs> and one day I'll sell them for a profit, although probably not much. I have like a Valentine's Day one that is infused with champagne, the champagne Marmite. I also have a Guinness one infused with Guinness. I've got a few others, one like a Royal Jubilee one, um, all sorts. How does it feel to have such a prissy dog? <laughs> He's wearing a jumper and a coat. And Ava's here just like, yes. He's cold and he doesn't like the rain. <laughs> See, I've always said to Keegan that if someone saw the two of us and they were like, one of these dogs is owned by one person and another by another, they would think that the Yorkshireman owns this dog who loves puddles and mud and the Londoner owns this dog. <laughs> but it's the other way around. <sighs> Very funny. Yin and yang. It is. We're out of breath. We're going on a very long dog walk. Our legs are killing us after the workout today. But we need the steps. Yeah, active, active, active. Yeah. Because one day we won't be able to be and we wish we'd have made more use of our bodies. That is true. And the more you move, the more you want to move. I was saying this the other day. I find that because I've not worked out like I used to, I don't want to work out as much. Whereas Ooh, the more you work out, the more you do. Oh, it's raining. Well, someone once told me at rugby, you don't stop moving because you get old. You get old because you stop moving. That is so true. There you go. Wise words. <laughs> Wise words with Keegan. <laughs> so it's coming soon. I've also, guys, forgot to show you our breakfast, which I'm sure you're not disappointed about. It wasn't anything <laughs> exciting. It wasn't. We went to like this. Well, it wasn't a greasy spoon, a greasy cafe, but it was very basic. But the food was good. I liked it. Yeah. Um, although they did serve afternoon tea there, and I did say this would be the saddest afternoon tea I've ever had. <laughs> there were uh, lots of old ladies there, weren't there? There were, and it and was those. just... And us. Old ladies. And we are like old ladies, really. I was saying to Keegan, because I've just been editing this afternoon. Keegan's been watching the rugby, and I've been editing my Vlogvember video. And in the video, I was like, we are so camp, and essentially old ladies. We are... <laughs> watching The Crown and drinking champagne. What will we be doing tonight? Um, watching Strictly. 
watching Strictly, catching up on Graham Norton. Yeah. Maybe treat ourselves to a little drink. Maybe. maybe. And maybe ice cream, but we don't have any in, so we might need to go out and get some. Mm. I can walk and get no, some. No, yeah, but we've got we've got parking. Oh yeah, we've got parking. And we've got uh, hot dogs and peas, pie and mushy peas, pie and mushy peas. Yeah. So Job. stay tuned for that. I am. Both you, death. Yeah, this is so steep. Look how beautiful it is, guys. Fen, come on. Fen, you're live, Joe. Right, guys, we have started the cook-off. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, we have started with my recipe of hot dogs. Hot dogs are, the, I typed in bonfire recipes, about three hot dog recipes came up. Admittedly, parking did come up, but peas and pie did not come up. It's a thing. Anyway, so we're making, I'm making the caramelized onions right now. With Elton John Marmite. With Elton John Marmite. Uh, Keegan has been chopping the potatoes and they're in the air fryer. Um, I now need to put one of these, well, heat these. Oh. Up. Oh. Yeah. They're so good. They shouldn't be good. They're really dirty, aren't they? They're like cheap. <gasps> oh. Whoa, look. These look incredible. The fries look great. Got some mustard on here. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? They are good. Are you excited Get to? Off, mine. Oh, are they yours? Oh, I'll have more then. Mm -hmm. Go on, take a bite of the hot dog and tell me what you think. Happy bonfire night. Happy terrorist night. Is it good? Mm. I love Fringe's mustard. Mm hmm. Approved. Trivia. I've got a question for you. Based on yesterday's vlog, you said, I don't know if I kept it in the final edit, so you guys might not have seen it, but Keegan was like, no one should drizzle sauce over food. It's common. Is this an exception? Yeah, 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 this is fine. Because it's in a sandwich. Yeah, that's true. Okay. That is nice. The Marmite onions, very mm. good. Trebia. Trebia. Well, Southern Bonfire Night stuff. Yeah, good yeah, take. You approve. Yeah. Great. We're, we're gonna eat this and chill, and then later for supper, we're gonna try the Northern Bonfire. Supper. Supper. Well, you told me it was supper. Mm -hmm. Maybe trying to be posh. Oh, supper, not supper. 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 So guys, I'm aware that I wanted to show you like a traditional bonfire night, but we're not actually going to a bonfire, but there are fireworks loads of fireworks. So, oh, where are they? Oh, over there. Lovely. Luckily, we've both got dogs who aren't afraid of big bangs, so it's not a problem for us. But this is the one night of the year, this and New Year, where just the UK goes mad on fireworks. Everywhere is doing fireworks, and some places are doing proper bonfires, but they've got literally a massive fire. I'll try and insert some clips and people used pics. to people used to do their own bonfires, didn't they? But now yeah. it's just like big, yeah, big events yeah. like big parks. But what is kind of done at this time of year, Strictly Come Dancing. This is our little nest, and uh, we are watching Strictly at the moment. We've got some candles lit, got some champagne over there. And it's time for our second dinner, because Keegan is making our northern bonfire night celebratory dish, which is air. We're very poor in the north. <laughs> <This is. laughs> Quaffing. <laughs> Quaffing champagne. It's actually not champagne. It, well, it is, but it's called a twinkle, isn't it's it? A cocktail it's called a twinkle. And tell us the, what it is. Elderflower cordial, vodka topped up with champagne, darling. It's quite divine. It's delicious. It's also like rocket fuel. John's yeah. trying to get me drunk. That's not true. You're the one that suggested it. If, if we're ever drinking, you just know it's come from Keegan, it's not come from me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like Twinkles though, they, I don't like the name because I feel like it pe plays up to a gay stereotype that's like, of course, a gay man likes the, like, a Twinkle, no. Real men drink Twinkles. Real men drink Twinkles. <laughs> because if you can drink 10 pints, anyone can drink 10 pints. Yeah. Drink 10 Twinkles and let's see where you're at then. Because it's like basically vodka, champagne, and elderflower. Because of the vodka and champagne combo, you only need a couple and you're, you're gone. So Ava's waiting patiently. She wants to try some mushy peas. Bonfire night treats for the poochies. Come on in. Ooh, 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 Ben's naked. <laughs> ben normally has clothes on and he's naked. It's so funny when he doesn't have clothes on. 
Right, you're waiting patiently. Wow, that wasn't patient either. Right, Fen. Sit. Fen, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Ava, would you like one more? You're a big girl. Right, here we go. Ooh, mushy peas. This I looks like a gastro pub. I haven't had mushy peas for years. And so you'd have this on bonfire night? Yeah, and you'd get it in like a paper yeah, dish. Yeah, like a paper tray sort of thing. Yeah, and some people have mint sauce. Oh no. Probably, but I'm not really asking for mint sauce. Just give me I'm a excited bit. for this. Go on, have a taste. Some Does it remind you of being little? It takes me back to being a little boy and going to bonfires and that with like grandparents. Oh, yeah, that's so, cute. There we go. All wet, all the all the juices. This is just so naughty. It's amazing. Mm. What a good boy. <laughs> is it hot? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go on then, greedy goats. It's a massive mouthful. Mmm. <laughs> oh, he hates it. <laughs> It'd be really nice with gravy. Do you ever have gravy with it? I mean, he could do if he wanted. No, it's nice. I will eat it. <laughs> oh, he hates it. No, I like it. No, he doesn't. Tell us what you really think. Mmm. What mm. liar. <laughs> Guys, the peas and pie was actually really good in the end. I actually enjoyed it. I think it just took a while for my taste buds to get used to it. And I enjoyed the salty pie. Come on. Wee wees. Right guys, I'm gonna try parking. This is what it looks like. Very dense. It smells like ginger cake, like that woman said. It tastes like ginger cake, like Jamaican ginger cake, but like you said, a lot more dense. I can't believe I've never heard of this, and this is a quintessential bonfire thing. It said it on the website. Have a bite. It's a bit bitty as well. It's like a dollar Yeah. Custard. Custard. We don't have any. Do we? I'll check my supplies. Okay. I don't think so though. Well guys, thank you for joining us for this Bonfire Day vlog. We're going to end it here. But yeah, thank you for joining. Subscribe if you're new here. I post videos every single day at the moment. And uh, give us a like, subscribe, all the things. And you might get him drunk like he is now. I'm not drunk, guys. I'm just eating parking. <laughs> Goodbye.